If you're an Apple user, there's a free app available to stay in touch known as FaceTime. Making FaceTime video or audio calls is ridiculously easy to do. There's a built-in FaceTime app on every iPad, iPad Touch, and Mac computer, and FaceTime is also integrated into the phone app on iPhones as well. As long as you're on Wi-Fi, or if you happen to have a cellular data plan on your iPhone or iPad, you can stay in touch with family and friends even while traveling. You can connect with anyone in the world even without a long distance plan so long as you're on Wi-Fi and you will not only hear but see the people that you're talking to. Hang on to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to use FaceTime on your iPhone and also on an Apple computer to stay in touch with those you love while we're all at home on lockdown during the coronavirus pandemic. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru. You can call me Dadographer. If you want to learn more, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. An important note, FaceTime is only available on Apple products, whether it be an Apple or Macintosh computer or on your iPhone. It does not work on Samsung or Android or any other type of phone or on PCs. Let me jump over to my computer to show you how to make a FaceTime call on it. Now that I'm sitting on my computer, let me show you how easy it is to make a, a FaceTime call. I'm going to come down and open my FaceTime app. I have it down here in my dock. So click on that, it'll open, and this is the screen that opens up. Let me explain the interface. What you're seeing here, this video of me is actually coming from the webcam. This is where you choose either a video call or an audio call. You can switch back and forth between the two. I'll start with video. This little dialog box is where you enter the information for the person that you want to reach. You can either enter their name, their email address, or their telephone number to be able to make the call. So let me just enter my name. Start with James. There you go and see my contact info comes up. and. I have the choice here of either doing a video call with this camera icon or an audio call. Let me come back to this and finish going over the interface. The other part of the screen, this part here, now I have it blurred out because I don't want to give away people's personal information, but this is where you see the names or the numbers of other people that you have made FaceTime calls with recently. So let's go ahead and make a FaceTime call to myself. Say I'm looking for my contact, I enter the name, then I click the icon here for FaceTime call, and then this screen comes up. And what you're looking at is the initial FaceTime screen. You'll see yourself, you'll see the name of the person you're trying to reach, the type of call, this is a FaceTime video call. Then you have three buttons here. The red phone button will end the call. This is the mute button, so when it's highlighted white, that means they won't hear you, and it's gray, it's turned off. And then this button, when it connects, will allow you to share photos from your camera. What you're seeing now is a call failed, basically, or it didn't connect. And that is because I am not picking up my phone. It says here, my name here is not available for FaceTime. What this screen here is, it gives you three choices. And this is because I, the call did not connect. I can send you a message, like a text, I can end the call here and forget about it, or I can try and call them back. So if I X out of here, it comes back to my main screen and I can try again. Try another call. So let's try another one here, just to let it go, and I'm not gonna pick up, obviously, because I don't want to, I wanna show you what those other end screens look like. Let's turn mute off. So I can try and call back, and I'll do that, and it'll try the FaceTime call again. If I chose to, I could end the call. If your call fails and you have messages synced with FaceTime and you click the message icon, you will be able to, it'll open up your messages and you'll be able to send messages very easily. Now, let me X out of this. Let me show you an audio call, what it looks like. Instead of doing a video call, let's say you wanna, you're on Wi-Fi, you wanna do an audio call. So the interface is the same. 
I click on audio, you'll notice in the top corner here on my screen, the audio icon turns on and that says I'm calling myself FaceTime audio call. I can end it, I can mute it, or I can cancel out and decide to do video later. This only works if you're on Wi-Fi. FaceTime audio. You can do it through on your laptop or desktop computer through Wi-Fi, but if you have cellular data network on your iPhone or your iPad, you can do it that way. Now the call ended, of course, and the reason is I didn't pick up, but you get this notification that has the name of the person you reached and says that they are unavailable, and you have the choice of either canceling out or trying again. So let's cancel out and FaceTime will come back because I have it open. And really that's it. On your computer that's it's that simple to make a FaceTime video call or audio call. You're probably mostly going to do video calls simply because that's kind of the point of FaceTime is to see the person that you're talking to. But if you have a bad internet connection or you're in kind of a hurry and you just want to leave a message really quick you can do it that way and do an audio only call. But otherwise, it's that simple. Now that you've seen how to do FaceTime on a computer, let me review how to make a FaceTime call on your iPhone. Now that I'm on my iPhone, let me show you how to make a FaceTime call on this. Let me go over here. You'll notice that I have a bunch of FaceTime missed notifications. That's because I've been working on this video. But let me go ahead and open FaceTime on my phone. You just tap it, of course. And what you see in the background moving around, it's actually accessing my camera right now. Uh, but this is the home screen that you see on FaceTime when you open the app up on your iPhone. So it works just like it did in the computer for the most part. You see the names of the people that you've recently spoken to uh, via FaceTime. So let me go ahead and tap myself. And this is the screen that comes up. Again, it tells you who you're calling. If you have their picture saved in your contacts, it'll show. I do not have a picture of myself on my phone. It tells you what type of call you're making. In this case, it's a FaceTime audio call. And you have the choice. You can put one speaker. You can mute them or unmute them. That's muted. Now the call is on speaker when that highlights. And if you listen carefully, you can hear it ringing. I'll leave it open for you. And of course, it says FaceTime audio is unavailable. That is because I was not able to pick up my own phone. But you have the same screen, closing screen that you do on the computer. So you have your choice of in the center here, you can cancel or you can call back. So let me punch that and then it'll try another audio call. Now this is over FaceTime audio. So I'm connected through Wi-Fi. You can see the icon up in the corner here. I'm not going to actually pick up the phone at this time, but I will show you an image of what it looks like in just a second. So it's trying to reach. You can hear it ringing, but it's going to fail. Now, because uh, I didn't pick up. So it says FaceTime audio unavailable. So I'm trying to reach this person. It's important. I can click leave a message and iMessages will open on my phone and I can, I'll just type in test. I did a few tests to make it work and it sends the message. And then it goes through. Let's make a FaceTime video call. If I were to tap on another person, here we go, let me tap that. And you have several options here for this. You can end the call, of course, with the X. You can flip and it will use the front facing camera. Let me do that real quick just to show you. And that's my screen that I'm actually recording. And come back to me. You can mute the call just like you had or you can add a fax. So these are kind of cool. You can add emojis like I'm so hot, I'm going to add fire. And because I'm a superstar, I'll add that. And as you can see, it's on the screen. Now, this person didn't pick up and that's why it's giving me the name of FaceTime unavailable, but that's okay. And I have the same options of text, call or cancel. So, and of course you hold the phone out to yourself and you can see yourself. So what I'm going to do, this is a FaceTime video call, how it works. Let me show you when you connect to an actual FaceTime video call, what it looks like, because I did do some tests that I recorded in the screen. Let me show you here real quick. This is a, a screen recording I made of a call earlier where I was actually did connect to this person. And as you can see, when you do connect, 
you can see them full screen and there's a, a tiny screen in the corner of myself so I can this is what my camera is looking at and it's the reverse on their end they can see themselves small in the corner and full screen myself if you want to reach per people another way like you forget where your app is you can go here to contacts click on that and you can scroll through all of your contacts and let me just find myself here I'm in here wait let's just put there we go um, me so let me just click on me if I wanted to reach someone through my contacts you have several choices I'm in the contact screen on my iPhone I can click here message and send them a text I'll do it again another test and let's get rid of that I can call them by clicking the phone icon and pound. now obviously it's not going to work because I'm calling myself so, uh, but if you are on your phone Please enter your password then yes. press pound Let me mute that because that is kind of annoying You have other choices You can enter the keyboard screen If for example you are on a menu for your, like your bank or something You have to enter options You can hide the screen you can, you can hit add a call to add other people Like call waiting Also from here you can click FaceTime And it will automatically open FaceTime And it will try Again this is just like we did before Where you are trying to make a call Let me end that you can click mail, which is nice from here if you need to, and you can send that person an email if you have their email saved in your contacts. I'm going to cancel out of that and delete the draft because I don't need to send myself an email, but you could do that. And also here on the far right, you have Apple Pay. So if you owe the person money and you have Apple Pay set up on your phone, you can send them money. You have a few more choices down here. You can automatically click on their phone number and it acts like a link and a little open and we'll get out of that you can connect to FaceTime either video or audio here from your contacts directly so if you click on that you can see you're making a call I'm going to delete that or I can make a FaceTime audio call and again it tells you at the top whether it's audio or video you can click on their email if it's saved again it automatically send an email directly from your contacts and you have the other information that you you can have their website saved or address and if you go down to the bottom here if it's again you could click message and send them either call them or email them from the bottom I'll cancel out of that you can share your contact from here if you need to give it to someone all your information that's saved you can send it automatically to someone else either via airdrop or messages or mail or whatsapp or whatever apps you have set up with it and you can add to favorites as if it's a family member. And it's just that easy to make FaceTime audio or video calls with any iOS device. Remember that the default is a video chat, which works on all devices, easiest over Wi-Fi. You can also make audio calls over all devices if you're connected to Wi-Fi. Otherwise, the default on iPhones and iPads that have a cellular data plan is to make a regular cell call. This is making sense to you, but I've got it in the comments section below. My question of the day is, how are you staying connected with those that you love now that the pandemic is in full swing? Leave a comment below and let us know. Do you want to see more videos like this? Follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, for more. Think what you saw was great? Like it. Do you have an opinion? Then please comment below. You know someone who could benefit from the information that I provided? Please share the video. You want to learn even more? If so, then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I am a full-time working photographer, video producer, video editor, and technology pro. That's the small business that I own and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact info in the description below. Contact me if you need video production or photography for you personally for your business or for someone that you know if you follow me for a while now you may know that I have a community of photographers videographers and filmmakers just like you on Facebook where I share other pro tips and tricks it's called video producers and content creators I love new members who want to share their work learn from others and also help others based on their own knowledge skills and experience you'll find a link to that group in the description below 
So feel free to join it where you can learn even more.